Hey guys and welcome back to G Can't Play here with another strategy for you. Uh, this one I am calling uh, the roundabout combat. Um, basically what's going to happen with this one is you have uh, five bullets or a ten dollar table. Uh, so the five bullets are going to be 10, 20, 40, 80 and 160 dollars as well as a $10 on the pass line. Um, so each bet we are going to place on the come, it'll obviously go up onto a number here. Uh, if, for instance, let's just say we had 10 on the come, goes to the 5, then we put the 20 down, that also goes to the 5, we'd put the 10 back in. So it's going to go around, it's a bit of a roundabout on the come bet. Um, interesting strategy, this one. Um, not 100% if it'll work or not, but we'll give it a go and um, let's see how we get on. So, first we'll start with $10 on the pass line. And let's see what happens. And we're out on the five. Okay, so, first bet is $10. It's going on to the 10, so it's bullet number one. Bullet number two is twenty dollars. Okay, so here's an example how it's swapped over. So the twenty went back there, so we're going to go back to the ten, and we're going to place that one up again. Once the ten's gone, then we go back to our system, so it'll go to forty. But because we swapped them, we're going to play that one. Okay, so it's on six. So now we're on forty. Bullet number three. And there's the seven. Okay, um, luckily for us, uh, we ended up breaking even there because we had 40 here, 20, 30, 40 all up. Um, so that's the benefit of the system going higher for each one that you run. You're covering or hedging your bets on that come if the seven does turn up. Doesn't always work. For instance, if you've got that 40 hits where the 10 was and the 10 comes down, then obviously you're not fully covering everything out on the field so if you're going up normally it does cover but uh, when you get to the, the the spots where you're swapping around then you may lose a little bit of money there okay so that was shoot number one what do we do we were up ten dollars there and i broke even again with the seven because we had ten on the come ten on the pass so they cancelled each other out I want to shoot at number three. This is what we don't want to see, those low numbers. Just taking our money away. There we go, out on the five. And we hit the five, so um, we got paid for the pass line that we lost on the on the snake eyes before. Another five, so as you can see, the 10 hit there. So we're going to start again with the 10. Restart the system. And there's the seven, break even, 10 for 10. And go again. Okay, let's see if we can get a little further into the system, see if we can get all five of these bits up and working. Okay, out on the 10. And seven again. No money made, no money lost. Let's go. We're already up to shooter number five. Um, if we do get three shooters pretty quickly, I'll go past the standard ten shooters, but uh, hopefully we'll get some decent rolls coming here soon. Point seven again. That's three point sevens in a row, isn't it? Does not want me to show off the system. Okay, out of the eight. Let's see if we can actually get a point this time. Four, there we go. So now next bit's up to 20. And as you can see, if the seven does come, the 20 covers the two tens. So it's a hedge while it's in this stage. That'll be out on the five. 
Okay, next up is 40. Six, working our way up the board. This is good. Next one is 80. And as you can see here, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80, so if the seven does come, we are covered. Eight, we are working our way up the board. So we got paid on the pass line there. Uh, we're at a bit of a risk now because we can't place the come while the bet is off, while the puck is off. So let's hope we just roll a nice number. Six. 40, so we lost the 40, so what we're going to do is we're going to place the 40 that we that came down. Uh, and this is where the risk is, because if a 7 comes now, we get paid 40, but we've got 120 out there. So this is where we would lose a bit of money at this stage. So, but there's the 4, so the 40 goes up. 10 came down, so we pop the 10 back in. Uh, we want a 9 or a 10 or a 6. There's the 7. So this is where we lose the money because we only had the 10. We had the, that was probably the worst possible situation we could be in. As you can see, we lost $140 there. Um, if we did get that fifth bet up, the 160, then we just roll and hope that we're winning those numbers at that point. Um, obviously, um, once you hit one that comes down, then you put it back in, put it back up. You're trying to get one of those long rolls. But we wouldn't go any higher than that 160 mark. Okay, six, paid on the six. Now we're only down $130 for that last one. And on the 10, so we've got the 10 up, so we'll go to 20. Let's see if we can get all these numbers up. Six, no, we're swapping around. So the 10 came down, 20 goes up. We will rock 10. I think next shooter, what I'm going to try is. Oh, paid on the come, that's good. Um, I'm going to go up regardless and then start swapping around. Instead of this one, just a hedge on the way up until we get all those numbers placed. Okay. Once again, we hit the point. $40 so far, this shooter. Okay, the 10 and the 20 are out, so we're up to 40. And here we go. And there's the seven. Uh, we were working our way up, so we didn't lose any money there, but we also didn't make any. Um, and with this one, you don't have to play the pass line. If you don't want to, you could just stick here. Um, that way, when you do uh, make your way up, if the seven does come, you'll make a little bit of money. Um, you'll make the $10 that we're not having uh, put up here. Seven, so we lost that 10, but we had the 10 down here to cover. The 11, another $10. We've grinded our bankroll back to even, as you can see. Out on the 8. Um, so even though we have been, been in places where we've put up some big bets, for instance, where we lost that 140, another seven, not getting us anywhere, uh, we've managed to not lose any money so far, another seven, in fact we're now slightly in profit. So yeah, interesting strategy, not 100% sure if it's a good one or not. Um, you do go around in circles, it seems, a fair bit. Um, and obviously, if you get all your bets up and then hit a seven, you're losing all your money. Okay, we'll take that. Nice $20. See if we get some more bets placed. No, nope, not going to happen. We're up to the 10th shooter. We are going to keep going. Um, I don't think we've had enough examples of this working out so I'd love to be able to get all the bets placed that would be good so we can see how it works having any long rolls look we're averaging four at the moment so 
not a great day for someone that's wanting to uh, take advantage of those long rolls. Better to play the dark side on this one. There's the eight. Okay, we're getting some movement now. We've got two bets up. Up to $40. There's the nine. Okay, now we're going all the way up to 80. Let's see if we can get this one placed. Eight, swapping over. So as I was saying this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the 160. That final bet. Then I'll come out on the six. Okay, so this is where we're now at risk because we don't have anything on the come here, so that seven is going to sting us. But there we go, 160 for 160. We're going to take that, we're going to put it back up. The nine, 160 for 40. We're going to put the 40 back up. Eight. 80, we're going to put that 80 back up. Okay. And this is what I'm talking about with the roundabout. So as one comes down, the next one goes up. Okay, lost some money there. Uh, well, we're down 140 like we were last time. So that 80 did hedge the bits a little bit, but obviously we had that big one up there um, and a couple of the smaller ones. But as you can see, um, we've made some money. So if you can get that roundabout going, um, I think we'll play another one just to see how we're getting on. Um, if you, as I say, yeah, if you can get that roundabout going, uh, it's a good little money maker, this one. Because you're taking that profit, putting it back up, putting back the bet back up, going round and round, like a roundabout. There's a seven, we'll get nothing. Okay, we'll do one more shooter just to see if we can get another good session going. But that um, previous one there did actually show it decently. Uh, and as you can see, we're up $180 at this point, which is great. And remember, guys, only bet with what you're willing to lose. We're all here to have fun. And betting with what you can lose takes a little bit of the stress out of it if it's not going well for you on that day. Okay, 20. Let's see if we can get something going here. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, last one. Lucky number 13. And if this one doesn't call to go, um, we'll, um, we'll call it. Okay, let's have a look. Let's get that number. There we go, out on the five, 415. $10 on the come. And we're going to hit the point. Make $10. Okay, out on the six. We've got the 10 up there, so we've got the 20. It's going to go up on the nine, six through nine. Okay, next up is 40. That's on the 10. Um, and I think you, if you wanted to, you could do it with less bets up, five bullets. You know, it's um, not likely they're all going to be up there because you tend to get another number coming before you get five up there. So you could do it here with the three and just start rotating those three um, but we're going to go with the five so we're up to 80. Let's see if we can hit one of these numbers and sort them over eight there we go and the final one 160 um, and as you'll be able to see we've got 160 here we've got 80 120 140 150 160 so if the seven does come we are covered so Takes a bit of the stress out of that. We're up at the four. There we go. So we've got all the numbers. 
now this is where we're really at risk if the seven does come as you can see we're going to lose 320 dollars so this is the dangerous part of the con of the system so there goes the 40 so we put the 40 back up what we really want to hit is we want to hit that four start getting some of those numbers back there's the eight 80 so we'll put the 80 back up 80 if we get one more hit other than the 10 we're going to be back into evens no we're going up on the number okay let's see if we can get a decent roll if we can get into like the 20s maybe even the 30s not going to happen okay so that was a big loss for us there the whole lot 320 dollars so that was showing the worst case scenario uh, if you get all your bets placed then uh, obviously you're you're in risk another way you could play it is you could continue depending on the size of your bankroll um, you could continue to be put come bets up obviously you wouldn't go higher to hedge the whole amount but you might stay if you've got a decent size bankroll you might stay at the 160 level just to take some of the heat off there um, half the loss but overall not bad we went through 14 shooters we're only down $20 so um, for a system where at any time you could have $320 at risk only being down $20 after a session um, yeah interesting strategy this one it, it seems to work quite well um, and as I said if you can get that roundabout going um, a good little profit maker on that one okay well thanks for watching again guys as I said this was the uh, roundabout on the come bet uh, just to go through it again $10 on the pass line you don't have to play that if you want to you don't have to um, I just put that on there it's a good little maker um, sometimes you hit those numbers and, and get a little extra in there uh, then five total bullets on the come uh, and it's I guess a martingale system so 10 20 40 80 and 160 and then what happens is they get obviously placed up on the numbers as one comes down you just pop it back up again and you're just going round and round and round hoping for a nice long run keep it going round I hope you hit that 160 a few times put up a good little bit of profit okay well thanks for watching this was you can't play and I'll catch you on the next one catch you later guys